Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. And hope you didn't do like I did and eat way too much. But anyway, um, in my last video, I uh, brought in that 70 horsepower three-cylinder mercury that uh, was gifted to me and we did a quick fax check on it and we had good compression we had or I'll say reasonable compression um, we had good hot spark on all three and uh, I really want to go through it and clean the carbs and I'm probably going to remove the VRO just because of the age of the engine and uh, but first I don't even know if it runs so the weather ain't that great out but I'm just jonesing jonesing to hear that thing fire over so I'm going to at least do that. I'm going to see if I can uh, hook a fuel hose to that thing. Turn that key and see if that thing will come to life. So that's what I'm going to do first. I just am Jones in to hear it run. So we're going to do that first. And then i got to get back to work on other people's stuff. I just had a gentleman you may remember a couple videos ago probably three or four videos ago i had a little evan rude uh short shaft 15 and i cleaned it up did a test run adjusted a few things and had it all good and i sold it to a fella well he brought it back today and said this little motor runs great it pushes my raft just fine we were out hunting and I ran it aground and hit something and now the propellers all it'll spin but the power head don't turn over but the propeller spins he says and I can't pull it because it's stuck in gear the gear shift won't shift I can't pull it shift it pull it shift. can't do none of that I said well don't even run it aground then but anyway, so I gave it a quick look and I said, well, we're going to have to drop that lower unit. So we're going to do that and see what we find there. And I'll show you that little gem in just a minute. But uh, right now, let me get set up and see if we can't pop that old 70 Mercury up. And I believe I looked the numbers up on that Merc 70. It's a 19 and 88. That's right, 1988. So, we're gonna see if that'll start. Let's get started and let's get at it. See if she'll pop over.
leaking gas out of the middle carburetor. And I don't see no tilt-tilt pee water. But I don't even see where it's from. Probably like this. Yeah, that should be the pee hole. You know, it's still hot at all, though. It's actually cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's leaking gas. I was just jonesing to hear it fire over. That's all I really wanted to do. We got this little victim. You might even recognize this little motor. I just sold it to a fella about oh, a week or two ago. He went out, said they hit the bottom, the prop spins, sorta, but she froze up, and here's the gear shift stuck in gear. So I'm going to let her thaw out for a little bit and then we're going to drop a lower unit. And while I do that I think I'll go eat some lunch and then come back. Well look at those. Yummy. Those are Alaskan weather vane scallops in a wine and butter garlic sauce. Yummy. Want to say a big thank you to old Trader Jim. Okay, here's the little Evan Rudy in question. I sold this motor to him and he likes the way it runs and all. But he said, hey, hey. Throttle still works and all, but it's stoved in gear and you can't pull it off or pull it over and I don't think it's anything to do with the safety interlock, which is right there. I guess you can push down. I don't know, it might be the safety interlock. Let's see. My screwdriver. I don't know. I don't remember how these things work. But this one ain't gonna work. Yeah. I can almost see that it is. There it is. it still won't pull up. So it's not the, the safety interlock. I can kind of see it and push it out of the way. So, and the propeller, and I tried to turn the power head by hand up under here. I can't do that either. But the propeller down there You're all that crunchy. So, and the, the shaft is turning with the propeller, but nothing's happening at the power head level. So, 
he whacked something pretty good and we're going to drop that lower unit so let me get to doing this um hibbity, 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 hibbity. Go ahead and tighten this a little bit on this stand. You'll understand. And then we'll drop it over you. Drop it over you. See what we find. See what we find. This is kind of a chintzy little stand to begin with. That'll get me up high enough. I think. I think they're getting me a pie enough. Woo, the weather's been nasty around here. Mm, nasty. Blowing, raining. Just nasty. Just nasty. This ain't the right size socket, I don't guess. So I better find the right size socket. Ooh, I'm gonna stand this. Okay. That one is. That one the right one. And I'll see if I can find my little floppity thingy. My little floppity thingy. -dee. Yeah, it's been blowing, raining. That was terrible. Just terrible. Actually did get a little bit of snow but it didn't stick around it turned back to rain and they said we had willy wog you know hey you know what a willy wog is who out there knows what a, a willy wog is willy was when and we get that a lot here because we have mountains all around the town um, and then we're surrounded by an ocean so you'll have steady winds come in off their motions at a good steady clip but then they hit the mountains and it splits them in twos and threes and all that so what a willy why is basically is you'll be standing there and uh, it'll go from five knots of wind to 60 knots of wind within two or three seconds and that, that causes a lot of damage sometimes around here that's where a willy why is at least that's the way i understand it that's what the willy why is oh we got the bolts out <laughs> Bum 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 This could be a little bit of a challenge because of that shift rod being all jammed. And I can't see my shifter link. Gotta be in there. I just got there it is, it's down. I think. I think. Oh, okay. Let me get a bigger screwdriver so I can. 
try that a pop better. If I could get it to spin or twist. Or... Might be able to get something on there. If I can find some other tools, I'll be right back. Okay. So what it did, what it did, what it did, was got out my little 9.915 OMC bearing hub puller. You've noticed, gosh, I don't know how close I can get you. Well, I can turn it this way for one. There you go. Ah, able to me. You look right in there. As I pull, look right here. And what it is, and I made this thing years ago. Um, these are screwed in, these two bolts here are screwed in to the actual lower unit here and here where the retaining bolts for the bearing hub cover goes. Because the prop is spinning, I can, it's like toothed but it's spinning, I put these vice grips on there. Then I tighten down on the actual prop nut with this flat piece here and it pulls the hub out. So if you watch this crack right here. And if I run out of nut, I gotta use washers and such. If I run out of threads on the nut, whoa. So, let me give me a, a wash here. And I can now see the shift link. Right here, I can now get to the shift link. I'll pull that on out in a minute, but first I wanna get the lower unit off. Now I can get at her. Ta does. Ta does. Ah, boy. And there's my lower unit. And she turns over just fine. And it shifts just fine. See this little safety interlock that goes up under the Recoil starter came off. We're up. There we go. She's loose. She's a loose. I just need to get these bolts out. Bearing carriers. And let's look at these gears. Well, I don't see the detent balls or spring in there. So she just kind of came over. Oh. And you can see, hopefully, the teeth in there are pretty rounded over and dinged up. So 
Oh, wow, what a mess. What a mess -o. Wait until you see this. Oh, man. I'm going to let that drain, but the, the clutch dog itself is completely disintegrated. We can look at the carnage. Oh, my. Lots of carnage. Let me get my little raggy. So we have a raggy to put it on. Look at this clutch dog. Oh, yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. Are you, see, are, are you seeing that? I say, I say, are you seeing that? Carnage. Oh. That's the clutch dog, y'all. I think I see the spring. Oh, I see what's left of the spring. There's the old detent spring, what's left of it. And there's one ball, detent ball, y'all. What are the other detent balls? There it is, I think. If I can get it. Yep, that's it. What's left of it, I think. Right there. Yep, that's the other ball. It got pretty banged up. It's kind of goofy shaped, but I'm smashed. <laughs> yeah. Now, I wonder what that old pinion looks like. Oh, my. There's more carnage in there. The, uh... <laughs> the shifter paw is all chewed to pieces. Can you see in there? There, hopefully you can. You can see the uh, shifter paws all kitty warped And uh, you can see more chunks off to the right in there of the clutch dog. So that this lower unit would need a total rebuild. And I see more chunks of something right down in there don't even know what that is i'll get it out and we'll find out but she's all chewed to pieces y'all all chewed up into the pieces she gave up them goats here she is the little 15 and What's left of the lower unit? Yeah, I'll probably just get a good one out of my bone pile. And I'll rebuild that one and just keep the, the short shaft and the short shift rod and put his back together. It's name that tomb. You say Rolls, I say Royce. You say, God, give me a choice. You say, Lord, I say, Christ. I don't believe in Peter Pan. You say Rolls, I say Royce. You say, God, give me a choice. You say, Lord, I say, Christ. I don't believe in Peter Pan. Name that doom. Well now, we got to at least start the three cylinder 19 and 88. 70 horsepower, two stroke VRO Mercury. And I probably won't do anything else to that. Uh, Merc, I'll just put the, the bonnet back on and such. 
put it over there in my uh, rack and uh, I probably won't get to it again until spring. Um, just because I got so many other projects I want to get done. I just wanted to um, start it and run it and then tomorrow I'll fog it and uh, then I'll put the bonnet back on and set it aside. So we've got a little 15 now that shifts fine, turns over fine. The lower unit, whenever he hit what he hit, it exploded. It exploded. It gave up the goats. So the drive shaft, I looked at the top at the splines, it looks fine, didn't twist on that or anything. I haven't looked at the lower part of it yet, but uh, I will. And uh, I'll have to go over that housing real good, make sure it didn't crack it anywhere in there and so forth. And if I decide to rebuild it, you know, I'll put new seals, pressure test to do the whole stuff. But for right now, it's getting late. I'm getting hungry. So, that's going to be, as you know, one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass.